Here's how to use Sales Samurai for your Etsy SEO growth. Hello and welcome. So in this video, I will show you exactly that. And let's actually jump into the video without wasting much time. So to get started, first you will need to open up your browser and go to salesamurai.io. In here, you will need to go ahead and click on register for free, which is going to be basically allowing you to access the three day free trial. You will need to add a credit card, uh, your credit card information to get started, but then you can also cancel at any time within the three day trial. So whether, whether you like it or not, we will get there uh, at that point. But basically you can be using it for three days. And then if you want to upgrade, they give you this option right here or two options. I should say it's only one plan with just uh, either the possibility of paying monthly which is $10 or yearly for $100 per year. So to actually get started, like I said, you go to the home page and register for free. Okay. So after you register and enter your information, you should find yourself within um, the dashboard right here, which I would show you exactly how to use everything in here. Uh, you should be greeted with the tutorials page here, which is going to give you obviously detailed uh, tutorials for specific um, things within the website, like the shops, listing grader, and stuff like that. But in this video, I will show things uh, more like quickly and just allow you to understand how to use it simplistically. So to get started, let's actually go ahead and talk about what we have in the dashboard. We've got the search, shops, listing creator, competition tracker which is very important uh favorites cal calculators which is also very important and calendar calendar is very simply uh a place where we can you know track things within your calendar it's nothing too complicated here but let's talk about the important part here which is going to be the searching so for the search you go ahead and enter your keywords here here is going to be your keyword research um center basically uh, this is going to improve your SEO quality by a lot and the information in here is pretty valuable. So you go ahead and enter uh, a specific keyword uh, in here. Like for this example, you see in front of me right now, I had a printable planner in here. Obviously, you can just enter whatever keyword you want and they will give you uh, a lot of these options. Now, Sales Samurai does take a while to uh, run things usually but it is going to be worth it and worth the time because of the things that they will be giving you so the first thing that we uh, will see is going to be the long tail etsy uh, sv which is search volume etsy uh, ctr which is going to be the click-through rate competition uh search volume for google and cpc again uh, for um for google and then google competition so let's talk, let's just tackle each one uh, alone. So we need to make sure that this is a long tail keyword. It's just going to be best for us. So if it's red, we want to make sure it is green and is a long tail keyword. Okay, so that's the first thing. And then we need to make sure the uh, search volume is high. We don't want it to be low because we want to ensure that people are actually looking for this uh service or product right it's not going to be something that is lacking we want people that we want to find something that people are looking for so search volume is very important we need to make sure it is high click uh to uh click through rate is going to be also important um obviously you know try to go a little bit higher because again same reason for the search volume Competition is something that we need to have um, low. We don't want it to be high, obviously, for obvious reasons. We don't want a lot of competition to the point that, um, you know, people that are just starting out, that it's pretty much very, very difficult for them to stand out from the crowd. Okay, so we don't want too much competition. But at the same time, we also need to have like a little bit of competition. Otherwise, this product is not really that good if we don't have competition, you know. So those are the things for uh, Etsy here. And then we jump to the Google uh, thing. So search volume for Google obviously is very important. Um, click per uh, cost per click. 
and a Google competition here. So uh, same things initially, just a little bit different. It's, it's based off of Google, but if you're more focused on Etsy, you um, obviously care more about the numbers about Etsy rather than Google. And then if you go down here on the Etsy most trending, you should find uh, similar keywords that have the, pretty much the same meaning, but you know different different keywords basically. So here you got uh, planner, planner, printable weekly planner, which you can see search volume is very low because like you can see how much of a mess it is. Planner uh, printable, which is going to be a little bit less of the initial one because it just doesn't make that much sense. And you can see uh, other things here. Gift planner printable, maybe try uh, gift printable planner. That could probably be a good one. And then you can just keep scrolling and see other options here. And just keep in mind the search volume, CTR, and competition. Uh, so if you want, you can just go ahead and click on either. But before we even do that, let's talk about Google because it also shows the same thing, kind of. Uh, Google most trending, same thing. Printable planner, you can see the search volume and you can see uh, this one. So food planner printable. This seems nice, and then competition is high, so nope, never mind. And then we see other things like, this. so basically what, what we are focusing on, we want to compare this search volume with competition. Is it worth it or is it not worth it? This is basically it, okay? And then you can click on, for example, this one here, and you can just click on connect, and you can just connect shops in here, so you can even track it more if you want. But let's let's just go ahead and keep scrolling down instead. So listings here, we will get to the average uh, views, average likes, and average uh, photos of it. And we can also see tags for uh, this specific keyword that we entered. So you get to see uh, a lot of um, tags here. Digital planner is a good one. Uh, you won't really get to see the competition wise, but you get to see the search volume and count. So you can see a lot of those things and it's going to help you buy a lot to see just which ones are working and which ones are not. Uh, and obviously, if you if you want to re like if, if you found something interesting and you just want to have specific specifics for that keyword, you can just enter over here and compare again the search volume with competition as well as it being long tail or not. So here it's also going to show us some of the listings that are very uh, popular. And you can see, you can uh, obviously click on uh, any of those and it's going to show you more details about it. Uh, it also shows you all sorts of graphs and stuff at the bottom about, you know, sales and search volumes and stuff. But here you can see the listings of popular ones. And this is very important because you can, I wouldn't say copy them, just take uh, ideas from them and try to apply to your own unique, not a copy paste, unique, um, you know, items or products, but you can just click on it and it's going to show you the actual uh, page for it, for them. And you can see all you need to see, but it will show you the price, the views, the likes, that kind of stuff. And you can obviously favorite uh, it and you should find it over here in favorites. So uh, that is going to be for the keyword research. It's like a very uh, great keyword research tool. It's going to give you a lot of information, valuable, valuable information, uh, which is going to help you a lot with your Etsy journey. Um, here in Shops is basically like uh, I said earlier, you connect your own shop and it's just going to give you more stats. And same goes here for Listing Creator. But competition tracker is another thing that you can do. If you find another shop that is um, that you like, you can just en enter the name here and it's going to give you a lot of data about the shop. So you can, again, not copy and paste, just be inspired by it and know what works and what does not work. You typically need to uh, search for shops that are very successful within the same niche that you are working on and enter the name here and see how they are doing things and try to uh, put your own unique taste uh, or method on how they are working basically just make sure that it is unique to yourself 
And then we've got the calculators here, which is going to calculate the profits that you will be getting. Uh, and you can also do like how much it costs you to, you know, for the product and then how much you have it for and it's going to calculate everything for you. So you've got plenty of room for calculations here and it's very, very awesome. So again, calendar is going to be uh, the one that we talked about, just a regular can calendar. But here you can just enter the price of the product that you have. Uh, if you have a shipping price, you can do that as well. And then you can put your costs, so how much you are paying for it labor cost material that kind of stuff and then you just click on calculate and you should find yourself with a uh, very accurate calculation here so this is pretty much uh what you need to know about sales Sam samurai but i also am going to show you that you can install a chrome extension from here if you go click on the top right you should find chrome extension which you can simply just install add to chrome and it's basically going to allow you to use um, Etsy with this extension. It's just going to show you more data while you are using Etsy. Let me show you. Hold on. So like you saw earlier, I had the login page for my extension. So obviously, after you install your extension, they will ask you to log in. After you do so, it's already directly going to send you to Etsy, where you can search for anything again. And it is going to be mostly within the search box. So if you just search for, for example, again, printable planner, we can see things that are not typically there. You can see the uh, search volume here, and you can also see more, sorry, you can see also more options. So here you can see the search uh, volume for printable planner, and we can view more. So let's click on 500 more which is going to show us that exactly that. It's going to show us uh, more products within the same uh, category, which is printable planners, which is going to help us a lot. Again, you can see the search volume competition words, and this is uh, on my Etsy. It's, I didn't leave. So this is pretty much Sales Samurai uh, without have to, having to go to the website, where I can see, again, search volume and competition. Okay. And again, you can also... Um, uh, do more filters here so you can input yourself the search volume that you're looking for so if you don't want it to be that high you can just enter the search volume that you're looking for and also the competition if you want to add word count to it that also works and must contain is also something that uh, could work or you can just simply keep scrolling down until you see something that you like. And you see, for example, here, the competition is a little bit low. Uh, or maybe this one right here. Or maybe even this one. Wow. Hold on. So this one is going to be the spiritual planner uh, uh, printable, right? Yeah. So you can see things in here. And you can just compare things for how they are. And afterwards, obviously, you apply to your own Etsy store. So this is basically how to use Sail Samurai. And again, if you maybe didn't understand specific things, you can just go ahead always to tutorials and it's going to show you a lot, uh, a lot more detail for each uh, element within the website. So if you want more details about the calendar, because I didn't, I didn't talk about it much, you can just watch the calendar video. But this video should sum up how it works. And again, you will need to go ahead and try it for yourself. It does have a three day free trial. So go ahead and try it. If you like it, you can just, you know, upgrade. If you don't, then you can cancel at any time. So I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.